can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles, just absurd. And a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early going. Knee landed there, as usual, by Lee. Oh, head kick, bang. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Another one. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're gonna look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, and now an uppercut. That was a solid punch. That was a big check. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, nice kick. Where are your hands? Beautiful jab there by the champ. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, well timed with that team. Let those hands go. Keeping him honest with the jab. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chest, too. Right hand. Lands a strike there. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Come on, let's keep that right hand up. Under two minutes to go here in round one. Massive elbow from the punch. Let's go. Keep oh, lands the overhand up top. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting. Huge oh, shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Back and forth we go.
Oh, man, that's hard to watch. Another leg kick lands flush. And if you're the opponent at this point in time, you got to check something. What are you doing? You got to adjust. You got to be doing something different because to this point, what you're doing is not working. Get close, fight chest to chest, maybe relax on the outside. Don't panic. Don't be jumpy. Try to find comfort in knowing that you've done this. You have the reps. You know how to check kicks. Just take your time. Be comfortable. Get that leg up. It's only going to take one great check to make right. him stop throwing those kicks. Right on the button. Stay aggressive. 20 seconds now remain in the round. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. Final seconds here in round one. That hook sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, man. You're doing awesome. Completely controlling this fight wherever it goes. I want more of the same. Go out there, be fast, be sharp. Do not relax on this guy. We can't... All right, so let's see how he responds here, DC, after a big, big round for his opponent, courtesy of those leg kicks. I mean, he landed so many leg kicks. It's hard to understand how his opponent is not checking any of them. What is he doing in the octagon that is confusing him so much? But until his opponent answers those questions, it is not on Ready him to change anything. Ready. Continue to throw those kicks. Here we are, early round two. This round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Come on, man. I need punches. Let's go. Punches. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Lands that beautiful jab. That's it. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Lee. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Right place nice kick there by Lou. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Oh, got to be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Nice punch here. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice jab by Lee. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice straight punch there. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot on, that will work. finish the fight. Oh! Under two minutes to go here in our second round. He 
Gets a jab there. It's okay, keep going, keep going. Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. And he lands the hook. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. So big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Oh, sidekick lands. Leg kick lands. 30 seconds to go in the round. He's a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Look at the skip action that allows you huh. to land that big knee. Hey, All right, stop. that's the end of round number two. All right, sit down, bud. Take a couple deep breaths. Relax. Focus here, okay? You're throwing a lot of strikes out there, but I need you to be more accurate. You missed a lot of those. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Ready. Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Oh, he's wobbling now. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, big head kick lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Body kick now by Lee. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Good stick. Beautiful body kick. Hands high, hands high. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred from keeping on throwing those kicks. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. 
Back and forth we go. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. Teep now. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, and that punch elicited a reaction from the crowd. It's not over, it's not over. Move, Lead left is good. <laughs> Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Let's go. Get out of Beautiful head kick lands. Fighters separate from the clinch. Unable to connect there. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reaction of the opponent. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Oh, a nice little right hook there. Big shot to the head. Oh, nice check on the light kick offer in there. 15 seconds to go. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Superman punch now. So the blood really starts. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Another nice knee there. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far, perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Nice body kick. Lee gets hit with a kick. Let's go. Get out of there. Separate. Take your space back. 
strong inside leg kick. Don't wait, don't wait. Under three minutes to go in round four. Oh, lands a nice straight. Left hand. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Clean with the right hook. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, nice hook. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Nice straight right lands. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. Under a minute now to go. Pretty good knee to the body by Lee. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Now some separation from his clinch position. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he blocked that punch. Nicely done defensively. Ooh, big shot lands. Straight right, he misses. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Right. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. And man, these guys still look fresh as if they haven't even started fighting tonight. Pretty impressive. Both of them have a huge reputation for being fit fighters, and it shows in the way they're approaching round number two. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. Lands a solid kick right there. Dig, dig. Single collar tie now. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Quick jab lands there. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, back and forth we go. Oh, the high kick lands.
nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Oh, big front kick, lands flush! Man, this dude's midsection is officially unrecognizable at this point in time. You do see the corners get involved, maybe more for head shots or leg strikes, but they gotta be thinking about getting involved here. Brown beef, man. <laughs> Brown beef, John Anik. Look at the redness on his side. He is getting destroyed. He's been pounded to the body. He's been hurt to the body. And I would not be disappointed if the corner says, hey, I'm gonna let my fighter live and fight another day. Lands a good series of kicks here. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Switch knee lands to the body. Big power shot there. That's how you block a strike. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Lands the double jab. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see anything. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. Making all these shots count. Get the ball here. He's got to be careful here. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Nice front kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at that switch knee, beautiful switch knee. What a great fight, damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 10. 50K, baby, somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Time winding down, final seconds of the fight. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here, and I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on, and tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 49-46, and 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole